Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Boruto episode 119. So, we are coming up on, you know, my prediction is either this episode or possibly the next episode. Um, finishing up this little mini arc we're on, but I'm very much enjoying the mini arc. We had, uh, we had, I had a little bit of like, I don't know if I'd call them complaints, but like, I guess maybe they are complaints. <laughs> uh, but last episode was... There were some little small aspects I didn't like. I didn't like how... Uh, Kodahamaru just ditched Boruto. I didn't like how... They kind of handled the memory thing. Like, the memories that Boruto lost. Because, for me anyway... It was hard for me to figure out where... Like, like how much of his memory had lost. Because it played like a clip show of everything that happened. And then it got to a certain point And then cracked. And I thought that certain point was where his memory stopped, but it turns out he just lost everything that we saw, so. But I did like the, uh, the way he got his memories back. I did like the episode as a whole, and now Boruto has met up with Konohamaru, and I believe they are on the same page, and they're going to be going after, uh, uh, Remen and her whole town, village thingy, and, and trying to help them from, uh, K. It starts with a K. I can't remember his name. Shoot. Uh, it's a hard name to remember for me. But, but yeah. This, this Soma creature is possibly possessing him, or he's utilizing it to gain more power or something, but hopefully we, uh, we learn more. So, let's just jump into it, shall we? Alrighty, so we're gonna start the episode here in five, four, three, two, one, now. Alright. Uh, is the ceremony starting? Oh no! They're gonna have to get here quick! Stop the wedding! I do not approve! Of course, the creepy smile. All right, opening time. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so, uh, I'm probably still going to forget anyway, <laughs> knowing me. Uh, but you might see me drinking a little more in my in my reactions because I am I mentioned this in my Soul Eater, but considering Soul Eater is a Patreon show, people aren't going to be seeing it for a while on YouTube. Um, the uh, it's not going to get that wide of an audience. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, I basically I'm trying to lose some weight. And so I'm trying to drink more water frequently because I'm I'm reducing the portions of of my meals and stuff. So I tend to be like hungry before, like really hungry before I go into my meals, and then I eat, and it like doesn't really fully fill me up. So then I'm like still hungry, but I'm trying to drink a lot more water regularly each day and stuff like that. So to help with uh, to help curb the hunger a bit. I mentioned it in my last video, and then I got into the episode and didn't even drink any, so. Well, I did, a couple sips, but. Konohamaru's ninja way! His girlfriend! <laughs> Konohamaru's girlfriend's gonna show up at this wedding. Oh boy. Are they gonna interrupt it? I 
I wonder if uh, Konohamaru warned the Leaf of what they're doing. Probably not. It's probably going to be like, very angry, why did you go back? And then they're going to explain the situation, and then Leaf Village is going to be okay with it. what he wants. Oh, he cut the rope. And the stone? Alright. Tankitsu. That's it. <laughs> Every episode, I forget. Is he releasing it? Uh, they made it. Sort of. Sort of. Do something? No, no. Oh, she doesn't have any of the power anymore, but he does. Oh shit. So was it using him? Well, that's not good. But, didn't Konohamaru find a way to seal it last episode? So, I wonder if he'll be able to do it. Nice. Jeez, incorporeal. Man, you just can't touch it. That's not fair. <laughs> Oh my god, they're just gonna be, like, memories. Yep. Damn. So you can't physically hit it. Ninjutsu won't work. And if it flies through you, you lose your memories. Not a good situation. Oh. Oh. Oh, the hairpin, right? Maybe you have to have the hairpin to fight it? Maybe you can interact with it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I feel like this is too easy. That's cool, though. Uh, uh oh. Hmm, okay. So it's not a permanent fix. Okay, cool. So he doesn't even have to, like, stay there and hold it. He can just leave it there for however long it'll hold up. Nice. I thought it was going to be, like, the, the cube that they trapped uh, the third Hokage in, Sarutobi, back in original Naruto. And they had to, like, sit there and, like, hold the jutsu the whole time. Uh, okay, so he was being manipulated. Yeah. Hmm. 
Seeing such a fast change from, like, evil to good makes me, like, not trust it, though. It makes me think he's, like, making this up now to save his own ass. Or something. But... It's probably legit. Yeah. It's because you had the hairpin! The hairpin! <laughs> I'm just kidding, sorry. <laughs> There we go. Hmm. Oh no. Kind of... Okay. Learn a little more here. Right. But it was like... But if that was the case, why'd she have to seal it into the rock, though? Right. Uh... I kind of feel- I was thinking death, but then I was like, well, wait, no, maybe not. And then I was like, probably memories, you know? And she'll forget all about Konohamaru. Damn. Uh, I should seal it in the rock. Okay. I got it. The music, I like it. It's, it's a song that's used a lot, but that's like... Damn. Yeah. And then it's just gonna repeat the... the or, oh no, I guess if they cut both horns off, they destroy it, right? She had to seal it in a rock because she only managed to get one, I think. I hope I'm understanding that right. Alright, here we go. And it's not scared of Konohamaru anymore. Oh! Oh, he can s Nice! Yeah, he can do the same kind of summoning that Saratobi can! Nice! That's cool. I'm glad that Konohamaru doesn't, like, 100% follow Naruto's and, like, does say- uh, does, like, Toad Sage stuff. Oh, 
was cool. Just like his grandfather. That's awesome. Alright. So what does that do? I'm trying to remember the name of Sarutobi's. Another kind of ceiling jutsu. Oh shit. Not to be confused with the other kind of ceiling where all those tags are. <laughs> Bad joke. Alright, so, oh shit, it's really wearing him out. Can Boruto help at all? No. Uh oh. Jeez. That's not good. Well, he's gone. <laughs> See ya! I think it might have been Enma. I was gonna say, like, is it the same monkey, but just, like, Konohamaru summoning it makes it look different? But no, I think Enma might have been the Saratobis and Enra. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Yeah, she's going to do it. <laughs> He's like, no, not again, no! He tried to run. I wonder if there'll be some kind of way she keeps her memories. And here comes the horns. You know, they gotta cut them both off this time, right? Okay, so Konohamaru is gonna cut them. Cut them, Konohamaru, do it! Ah, uh, she's forgetting. Don't don't make her sacrifice go to waste though. Hmm. Do we have time to talk about this? <laughs> I know I know it's anime, but Aww. Poor Konohamaru. What is he doing? Oh, that's a nice shot. Okay, there we go. He got both of them this time.
是。Yeah, are they being returned? Maybe. Oh shit! All of that just vanished. Damn. Hmm. Apologies, you guys can probably hear my door rattling every now. It's extremely windy out. I don't even have my window open, but my, my air conditioner is in the window, and a little bit of air comes through that when it's really windy. Okay. Did they... Oh, okay, so they didn't come back. Damn. Wow, that stinks. Yeah, she did. Ah, oh, man. No. I guess it's nice that it seems like Kankitsu remembers some of this stuff. Ah, the burger. <laughs> It helped Boruto remember. Uh, she probably doesn't even know why she's crying. Aww. Aww, yeah. She's wearing the hairpin, too. Damn. Uh, it was too much to hope for that that would bring the memories back. Boruto only lost a little bit. She lost everything. <laughs> oh, <laughs> toe. He's trying to cheer him up, but it's almost a little too soon. <laughs> Jeez. And he still doesn't like sour stuff. <laughs> yep. Oh. Little bit of like voice quivering there. I can imagine he might have been like, you know, a little sad right there, maybe. Aw. That was a fun little mini arc. Sad. Definitely sad. Like, it's. I mean, it's obviously good that future generations don't have to deal with this, you know, with these like arranged marriages in order to save the village and stuff like that. But at the same time. It's almost like, like, obviously it's like a bittersweet ending, right? Like, the the spirit's taken care of, it's gone, but, you know, it it came at what cost, you know? The, the cost of all of Remen's memory. She doesn't remember who she is, but what I was saying before was, it's actually kind of good that, like, Kankitsu didn't lose his memories through his experience, you know? Because they've been friends since they were really young, which means if anybody is going to know, like, who Remen is, or you could say was, 
it's it's going to be him, and he's going to be the one that can kind of reintroduce her to herself, you know? So, it's nice that he didn't lose his memories. And at least she didn't die. It could have very well been like, if we do this, we die. Alrighty, guys, that's it for episode 119. And that's the the end of that little arc as well, so... You know, from... I don't know how quickly we're jumping into it, but from what I've heard, we're getting... Uh, I, I was told that we are getting, uh, like, main story stuff, so maybe Otutsuki stuff, maybe Boruto's eye stuff, you know, the mark on his hand, potentially. That kind of stuff, possibly. We'll see. Um, so it's definitely... I, I have no idea what's coming, and you guys don't tell me, but... But yeah, I did hear that we had, like, a couple of, like, the little extra episodes, and then the mini arc, and then we're getting into that stuff, is what I was told a while back. So, yeah, I'm really excited for for that, because obviously you guys have known, after every single arc that we've had, ever since Boruto's, like, I was introduced, I'm like, when is more stuff gonna come of that? And we've kind of had, like... I don't know how many episodes it's been, but it's been quite a few, because we went through the whole Mitsuki arc, which was pretty long, and then and then we went through, you know, some extra episodes, and then we went through this mini arc, and, uh, and I don't even, honestly, I, I have a really hard time placing, like, I remember a, most of the stuff that happened at Boruto, I remember, I just can't remember the exact order. Um, of when everything fell into place. So, but either way, it doesn't matter. There was, there's been a lot. So I'm really looking forward to getting into uh, the main story stuff again. But yeah, as for this episode though, I talked a bit about it in the in the end credits. But yeah, I I really did like this arc. Like obviously, I've heard that this uh, that this mini arc is. I wouldn't say... I don't think I've been told it was looked downed on. I just think it was, uh... Like, people didn't... What's the word? There's, like, one... I'm so... I'm so bad at coming up with, like, the one word that is perfect to describe what I'm thinking of. I think people were just, like, a little underwhelmed. And I think it's because there's probably a lot of people that were like me that, like, wanted to get into the main story stuff again, and then it started this arc, and we're like, okay... You know, I guess we're getting this, you know. But I try to look at things, like, unbiased to my own opinions of... Or not... Not my own opinions, but my own... I, I try to separate my own urge to see the main story and just kind of, like, enjoy what I'm seeing in front of me is what I tend to try to do, you know? Obviously, sometimes, you know, that that little bit of bias comes in to, to what I'm watching, but... Um, I, I really did like this. I, I really, really did. Like, um, I'm glad... I don't regret, like, watching it, you know? Like, like I'll admit, there were some times in that, like, two or three episode bit with uh, the whole, like, movie producer... Or not movie, like, the actor part with Chocho and, like, that whole, like, weird little three-parter that I'm just, like... After watching it all, I'm just like, why did I watch this, you know? But... Uh, when it when it comes to this, I, I really enjoyed it. Remen was an awesome character. She had a cool story, and she had a sad end, but she's also a hero, so, you know, she sacrificed herself for her village and her people, and she will only ever hear, unless she, like, manages to get her memories back eventually, you know, but she will only ever hear about what, uh, what she has accomplished, which is definitely, like, a weird thing, like, you like she'll be praised and everything as someone that saved the village, but without her going through those experiences, I imagine you'd feel like you didn't earn it because you don't have the memories of earning those that praise and stuff. So I imagine it'd be like a really weird feeling. So, but yeah, um, it's uh, it's too bad for Konohamaru. I know that uh, because like I actually thought at so at one point during this arc, I was like, this could be like a a long-term love interest that we see in the show every now and then for Konohamaru because, you know, they obviously don't shy away from that in the adults in the show because we have, 
you know, all of our old Naruto, or not all of them, but a lot of our old Naruto characters are in relationships and stuff like that. So, you know, I know, like, a lot of anime, they don't want their main characters to really be in relationships unless it's, like, a, you know, specifically, like, a romance anime or something. But but a lot of shonen, they tease the idea of relationships and stuff like that, but they'll... They'll never actually like commit to anything until you know something like this, where now they're now they're side characters and now they get the relationships, which is basically how this whole generation came about anyway. But but yeah, I thought that maybe Remen could be someone that comes into the story a little more once this is all taken care of, and and you know they still could they they could very easily have it like they they already established that the memories can come back with. With the episode, like, last episode with Boruto remembering. So, I think it's definitely possible that they could write in at some point in the future, like, Remen shows up for another little, like, maybe one episode side story of her remembering everything. And, uh, and Konohamaru and her reconnecting, you know? Um, but, but I don't know. She was also very good friends with, uh, Kankitsu before he changed. And... So I wonder, like, maybe she will... Like, if she got her memories back, who would she choose? Would she choose Konohamaru or Kankitsu now that he's back to normal, you know? And, but they're not required to get married anymore to, to fulfill the ritual, so I don't know. Um, but I'm obviously talking about hypotheticals that may never even come to pass. She could just be a character that's gone. Um, I know she does have, like, a pretty iconic voice actor, so I don't know if... Uh, you know, I don't, I don't know how readily available that voice actor is to even really come back. You know, maybe, maybe, I mean, they got her here, so maybe they could get her again for an episode. You know, but, but yeah, um, the whole, the whole fight between you know Boruto, Konohamaru, and Soma was cool. I liked the, uh, I liked the different ceiling jutsus we got to see. The the first one that. Konohamaru managed to do was pretty cool, and, uh, it's interesting that he was able to leave it, because it looked very similar to the one that the, uh, what were they called? They were called, like, the Sound Village 4, those, like, all guys with, like, curse marks that, that lock Saratobi in the, in the cage, in the, in the ceiling jutsu with, uh, with Orochimaru, where they fought and everything back in original Naruto. It looked a lot like that, different color, uh, but obviously it could just be different, but he was able to just, like, leave it there without even, like, you know, channeling his chakra into it. It was just, like, something that was there, which is pretty, pretty crazy and pretty cool, but, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Um, now, the other ceiling jutsu he did with uh, Enra... Which, that alone is really cool that he's able to do the same summoning that Sarutobi did. I, I mentioned during the reaction that I really like that we know that Konohamaru learned the Rasengan from Naruto, but I'm glad he didn't just learn all of Naruto's tricks and he's just like a copy of Naruto, you know? It's really cool that he learned the Rasengan from Naruto, but then he also is learning some of his grandfather's jutsus as well, like summoning Enra rather than, you know, becoming the Toad Sage kind of thing like Naruto did. Which is really cool. I wonder if, uh, is that, like, Monkey Sage, you know? Could we see, like, a Sage mode from Konohamaru in, like, the distant future? That'd be kind of badass, you know? Because we know that there's the Snake Sage, and then we know that there's the Toad Sage. So, is the Monkey, like, a Sage thing, too? Or is that just something different? Because, I mean, there are just generic summonings that you can do. Like, we know that, uh... We know from old Naruto that uh, Kakashi can summon dogs, you know? I mean, I guess there could be a dog sage mode, too, which would be interesting. But I'm guessing, like, there's a limit where it's not just all, like, you know... Not everything that becomes summoned is, like, necessarily tied to a sage mode version of it, you know? But, I mean... Considering that was a jutsu from the third Hokage, and now it's been being used by his grandson, I could definitely see, like, an evolution of that power if they wanted to and make him have, you know, some kind of sage mode uh, in the future. But, but back to what I was saying, 
with that sealing jutsu that he tried to use, was that could like they said he didn't have enough chakra. If he had enough chakra, could he have actually sealed it away using that jutsu? I wonder. Like, is was that a was that a jutsu just to hold it for a time? Uh, or was that a jutsu to actually seal it away, but he just didn't have enough chakra? Uh, I imagine it's the, uh, I imagine he just didn't have enough chakra and it would have sealed it away and, and it would have been gone, gone because he seemed like shocked when, uh, when Remen stepped in front of him rather than being like, you know, okay, it's time. So it wasn't something where he was trying to buy time. It was something where he was, uh, where it seems like he was actually just trying to seal it away to save Remen, but but wasn't able to, so that's too bad. But but yeah, that whole little bit was really cool. I like seeing uh, I like seeing that summoning from him and everything. So yeah, I mean, I it happens in every anime. So, but I will point out that it's like she's like actively losing her memories while she had that like aura around her while she had Soma inside her, you know. She's actively losing all her memories, and Konohamaru, like, stops to sit there and, like, talk, and, like, it was very heartwarming and sweet, but at the same time, like, if it was me, I would do that talking afterwards. As soon as she said Konohamaru cut off the horns, I'd immediately, like, use my ninja speed where they just, like, vanish, and just go and cut them off real quick, because... It could be, like, it could have been that her memories were all instantly eaten and it didn't matter, right? But it also could have been that they were gradually being eaten and maybe he could have saved some of them if he would have acted faster. But, I mean, I imagine for the sake of the moment and for the for the sake of it, like, the story, I think that they were probably all consumed instantly and it didn't matter how long Konohamaru sat there and kind of, like, thought about you know, Remen and what was happening, so, um, because anime time always does that, and every, I mean, I guess I won't say every anime, but a lot of anime do that, where the characters will, uh, will stop when maybe they should, and sit there and, like, really think about it, and either, you know, maybe time won't be passing, but it kind of seemed like time was passing regularly there, but anyway, I just figured I'd mention it, because I did... I did kind of, like, mock it a little bit at the time, so I kind of wanted to, like, get my full, uh, my full feelings on, on that moment, which, it was touching, and I very much liked it, but it does take me out of it a little bit when they, you know, when someone's sitting there suffering and another person's just, like, casually talking, <laughs> you know, before actually doing what they're supposed to do, so, I don't know. Um, it, it just takes me out of the story a little bit, but, but yeah, very... Very cool arc, very much enjoyed it, very much looking forward to uh, to what's coming next with the show, and uh, I think that's it from me, guys, so thank you guys so much for watching, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying the content, make sure you also uh, check out my Patreon if you want to see the next episode right now, or I actually might be a couple ahead by now on there by the time you're seeing this, so check that out, I very much appreciate it, and I will see you guys in my future reactions, bye!